Okay, so you want to play old school, but it's expensive. And you don't have these cards. That's fair. Or you just want to play anything and you don't have the cards. Or you want to test a deck. Or you have the cards, but you want to test multiple decks. Where do you get good proxies from? All right, in this video, we're going to answer that question. What I would say to do is get on your computer. Go to this screen over here. And this is a site called Moxfield. Right up there. So go to Moxfield. And I like this site for designing decks. It feels a lot like almost having the real cards because as you go over the cards you have or you want to put in the deck, you can kind of see them and it feels feels a lot more like the experience to me than other sites are just writing something into a spreadsheet. Anyway, you choose your cards, say the Berserk. You can go to this tab. You can switch to printing. You can choose any printing that's there for Berserk. You can. There's a lot of other options. So now your deck's here. How do you get it into a proxy? Well, let me show you. It's very easy. And that's why I like this site. You go here to more. You click export. So right now, you'll see what I have here is a full deck list. It has the card number, it has the set number, it has the name of the card, it has the quantity. And you go copy full list, like that. And it's copied already. Now what you do with that copy is you go to this other website called MTG Print. And I've already copied it in here. And then, so let's just say though that I, let's just say I hadn't copied it in here. Let me show you the full tutorial. Go here, we go to MTG Print. Paste it. Okay, it's all in there. I'm going to submit. It's going to populate a list for me. Now at this point, what you do is you click print. And it's going to let you save it here. So I have a lot of different decks and printings I have. So once you save it, you're going to get a PDF file. Let me show you what that PDF file looks like very quickly. Because I don't actually need to save this. I have um, already all the copies I need. We'll open it up. Okay, here we go. Move this over there. So we'll look at the one we just had. It was called Red Green Aggro. And I had some other cards I added to this to print. You open up this PDF. It looks like this. It's already saved to the correct size for letterhead printing or letter printing. What you do with this file now is you send this file to Staples. Staples has like a email you can send print me files to. I find the quality, it won't be picked up obviously by the um, camera trying to look at my computer screen, but the quality of these images is quite good. Um, better, than, better than average, I would say. So you go to Staples and all of a sudden, wham, here you go. You've got the full stack of them, all the things you want to print. They look, they're very decent proxies. What you ask them to do is to print it on 100 pound paper. That's the thickest paper that they have. Now, you could take scissors and cut them by hand as I used to do. And um, But what I did instead, what I now do, is I bought one of these guillotines off of Amazon. I believe it was about $30, something like that. And with a little bit of practice and a little bit of patience, it really doesn't take much to get quite good at cutting these. Boom. You'll end up with basically the squared cards with the white corners. You take your scissors on these guys, on those square cards with the white corners, and you do that and you end up with a pretty decent result. So I should compare actually. So this is a, that's the real deal Lotus. And, nope, not that deck, not that box, something else. <clears throat> right here. Ugh. Okay. And these are proxies, and I use these. I have a lot of different decks. I don't possibly have enough old school cards to have all these decks at once, and I don't like to switch my cards between decks constantly, because I'm the type of guy who's going to forget where I put a card. That's just me. So let's have a look. 
at some artifacts. Now once it's in the sleeve, that soul ring looks pretty good. This is a definitely a proxy. I have the real one. I can show you a beta or an alpha soul ring and they're gonna look um, very similar. I mean, I can't really argue with the convenience of this. You know, and you can, as you play with these, if you don't have them sleeved, they do end up getting a bit of wear to them. Um, I don't think I have, I think I printed, there's a Lotus. I think I printed all the Lotus as betas. So let's compare the colors. Darn. It's not really a fair comparison, I suppose, because that's an alpha, that's a unlimited, that's a beta. But let's, maybe I can just find a beta mox to compare. There. Let's look at these two moxes, for instance. Um, both of these are betas, and I should have in here a couple. Let me just go through here. Yeah, I've, I've made all these just for convenience. You know, like if I want to play with my real cards, I totally can. But if I want to go out drinking one night, um, do I want to bring um, an old school deck that's worth sixty thousand dollars with me to go play at a the pub with some friends? Like I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. That's, um, it's not my, it's like, you know, I don't want to be stressed with my cards. Like, these cards are to enjoy, right? Magic the Gathering is to enjoy. So, um, I won't enjoy having so much value of cards with me out, uh, out for a pub night. There. So here we go. Here's a couple of betas to compare. I would say that the Mox Jet looks better. I mean, that's just the image capture. If you are really crazy about um, how good your images need to look, then there's also other images you could take. I've just taken them from Mox Field, which I think is populated by Scryfall. So they're gonna they're gonna have images uh, from Scryfall. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to shake this out with one hand. Never easy. Let's see if we can uh, shake it out. Hmm. There. Got it. Let's see if we can get this one out too. Got it. All right. So we'll do a side by side. These are, you know, different sleeves for sure. And the printing is not perfect on this one, right? Like it's, I do prefer the colors of the actual beta. Well, you could toy around with that. You could get a different image file and a different image capture, probably get a better quality copy. Um, or image um, for the the jet I think it turned out a little better but again these are just to play with and to enjoy like it's not I'm just showing you guys a convenient way if you need to make some proxies how to do it and how to do it inexpensively I think that a single sheet of hundred pound paper let's pull out the the mocks to show you what it would look like a single sheet of hundred pound paper is about just over a dollar Canadian at, at Staples so uh, you get nine of these to a page and they do charge you two dollars to go print it but I mean that's okay you know it's, it's got a decent thickness to it it's got a good strength to it in a sleeve it's totally fine it's got a white back so nobody will ever confuse this with you know a real card which I like about it too so it's you know it doesn't it doesn't help anybody trying to pass off um, fake cards as real cards you know, which is really a terrible practice, but it does help out people who just want to play um, the format that they want to play. Uh, and I totally respect people who, and I also like to play with my real cards, but I respect pe uh, formats and systems that don't allow the use of proxies um, in their tournaments. It, I can completely understand the reasoning behind it, and that's maybe a discussion for another video. But this uh, video here is just a, simply about accessibility to cards, um, not wanting to spend more money than you have to spend on cards because they're expensive now and being able to access and to play with friends and to play casual matches um, I think this is great for the game that proxies are easy to make now because I was a kid in the 90s in the early 90s and even though these cards cost a fraction then of what they cost now they were equally just as unattainable for me on my high school uh, budget so they weren't just as unattainable, I, like, you know, now I guess I do have them, but I, I couldn't get them back then because it cost a bit too much. Daddy? Yeah, what's up, sweetie? We are not cleaning up, but we are having super fun. We can afford. Make it, that's, sometimes that's more important. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, want me to come see it? 
I'll be right there. I'm almost done. So, yeah, you know, my daughter kind of actually, I think, is, is the whole point of everything right there. You know, it's about having fun. And if you and your play group and the people you want to play with are fine with these proxies, uh, and you can always come play with me too, I'll be fine with these proxies. I rather, I like people being able to brew and create the decks they want to create. And it's, um, if teenage me in the 90s could have had these cards as a proxy and they're not the real ones because I could like I said I couldn't afford them then I still would have liked to play with my friends like that and I think that that 90s game was prob probably the best version of the game in that it was being made to be a good game and to be good a good play experience so that's all I want to say you know this box here is just full of proxy decks the deck a living plain robot deck that I'm trying out I have a beast island deck a lion dib deck um, you know, and these are also good because I can play with my daughter. She can hold, she can play with the Lion Dib deck. And if I put the real cards in there, that would be, you know, I'd be a lot more nervous about my daughter playing with my Lion Dib deck. Um, yeah, so that's it. I guess I don't have too much more to say. You know, use Mox Field if you like. Take the file, export it to MTG Print. Bring that to your local printing store. If they have 100 pound or 100 weight paper, that's what I'm using here. If you have access to something better, try that. These are laser printed. It makes the quality much better. And then I think a guillotine, if you're going to do this regularly, is a decent investment on for your hands and for getting the card cut straight. And you just round the corners, put them in a sleeve, and you have a good time. So enjoy. Um, share the video uh, to anybody who would want to know how to make decent proxies. And have fun. Bye.